from the Phi Phi Islands in Thailand. Hello, my name is Lisa and I am currently on a two week travel round Thailand holiday with my boyfriend Matt and we are now in our third stop of the trip already which is sad because it makes it feel like the time is passing. We've just been to Bangkok and then this morning we were in Kamala Beach in Phuket and we just got the ferry over which took two hours. There was a speedboat option but the terminal was a bit confusing and we just went for the the closest ferry that was departing. It was a little bit cheaper than the speedboat options as well, so hence why I look like this. Uh, it is a travel day, uh, but we've just checked into the Co... Uh, what's it called? Do you say what it's called anywhere in here? We've just checked into the Chow Co Resort in Fifi, which is like a three minute walk from the pier, which was super helpful. And the rooms are kind of cool. We've got this fish thing going on. There's fish over here. Um, yeah, I nearly cancelled this room booking because the reviews online since I booked it have been absolutely terrible. So it's surpassed my expectations because my expectations were lowered. I'll give you a quick look around. So we've got loads of space here where we'll probably open up our suitcases. Fish on the wall, already dumped loads of stuff. There's a mini bar that you pay extra for, um, but they are at reasonable prices. This is a bit scary how much they're going to charge you if you break anything. Not loving that. Um, yep, various other things, a safe. We've got some robes, I'm wearing the little slippers they give you. And then the bathroom, I'm pretty sure is salt water. And I also can't figure out where the light is. Um, but it seems pretty big. So this will be our home for the next three nights. It all seems a bit crazy when you first walk off the ferry um, at the terminal. There's like people with signs for all the names of the hotels and stuff. And yeah, it's all just a bit nuts. So I hope that we can have a quick walk now and like find one of the most famous, amazing beaches and sort of like figure out the lay of the land a little bit. So I'll bring you along with me. Let's go have a look what we can find. lovely dinner. Um, it was one of my favourites actually that we've had so far. We just looked on Google Maps until we found places with good reviews and just went around them until we found one that had a table and it turned out to be really nice. The other thing that we did was book a really long island tour that starts at 6am tomorrow. So the alarm's going to be going off at about 5.30 which I'm not ready for. Uh, so let's hope it's a quiet night's sleep at the Chow Co Hotel. Really looking forward to seeing all around Fifi Island that we're currently on and then the other island that's next to it which has Maya Bay on it. So it'll be really good fun. in the morning and we are walking through to Maya Bay. Hopefully we'll be some of the first people there this morning which is super exciting. Um, this is the beach where they filmed the beach as in it is the perfect beach that Leonardo DiCaprio was searching for. So hopefully it's as perfect as it looked back then. Um, it's been closed to tourists for 
a long time and it's only recently reopened in the last few months so feeling very excited that we get to be here the contrast to how quiet it was in Maya Bay itself compared to all of the boats with all of their engines going on in this tiny pontoon where it was all just a bit crazy um, was just nuts. It was just so quiet and peaceful. So I guess I will be quiet and uh, let you enjoy it. This is some of the softest sand I've ever stepped on in my life. So nice. It's actually just started raining. <laughs> Typical. Oh my god, it's so soft. It's crazy. Matt spotted some reef sharks. I don't think you'll be able to pick them up on the camera, but there's zoom in. Two, two shadows moving in the water. Yeah, it's definitely You're the baby one, right? Yeah. Get whale spotting. The nearest one here, look. Where? Just here. here. Oh yeah. Oh there. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. head off from Maya Bay but I'm so glad that we went there early in the morning because we really did get it to ourselves. This is a view from it from the other side so we're at the opening of the bay which used to be all you could see so we were very lucky to get to go on the beach as well. Our next stop was actually a snorkeling stop that I didn't film any of but we got to swim with sharks. It was my first time ever swimming in a coral reef as well which was amazing. Then our next stop was this bay with incredibly blue water where we did some more swimming, which was just really peaceful and enjoying the temperature and the location. They just like came s onto the boat so fast like he just drinking, and the, huh? he, he came all the way through the boat right to the front and I like just... it was like they don't like the water and they just like uh, straight in the water yeah they grabbed it, it was all the stuff that was on the side they grabbed yeah I thought it might be look at him going in the crisp packet I got a really good video of them like oh so as you may be able to tell, this is either Monkey Bay or Monkey Beach. There are two different places on PP and I can't figure out which one's which. But we did have a slight altercation where a monkey came running onto the boat and stole a lot of stuff. I was just protecting the bags as best I could. And this was after our tour guide told us that they're very scared of water, which was very obvious, was not the case, in fact. And then our next stop was Bamboo Island, where we sat next to this quite intimidating lizard while we had our lunch, which was definitely Amazing. different. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep on moving, so he's not uh... <laughs> This was like a deserted island kind of vibe, which was really cool, but also so, so, so hot. And we definitely both got sunburnt from being here, even though we were super careful. 
and this wasn't even the last stop of the tour after this we had another snorkeling stop where we swam for about another hour so no wonder we were exhausted at the end but honestly that was one of the best days that i've had full stop really We've come into this shady spot because it's so bloody hot on the beach that I'm losing my mind. And we found all these hermit crabs. Look, here's a little one here. Here he goes. And there's a big one here. I want to see it closer, but he's walking away. Hee <laughs> One day you'll be a big hermit crab and you can have a big shell. But right now you're tiny. Look at you, you're so small. Enjoy a little cocktail watching the sunset over the bay. So nice. I did not know mine would come in a pineapple, but here we are. And there's Matt with the view. It's our second full day in the PB Islands. We are still a bit dead from all of the activity from yesterday. We were up at 5.30, got back to the hotel about three, then went out for dinner and drinks. <laughs> Admittedly, that doesn't sound like from, from when we got back, we really did not do much, but I think we're still a bit tired out, shall we say. So we're gonna have a chilled one uh, today for our second and final full day here. Go find some breakfast, maybe have some pool time beach time and yeah sort out a ferry ticket for tomorrow uh, where we're going to Krabby and generally soak up the atmosphere of being here <laughs> You're going to do some paddling? Okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> We've just been to Monkey Beach, which is over there. I'm going to go see some monkeys and fish. They seem much more peaceful than the monkeys we saw yesterday. This is just amazing. My camera skills aren't great today. <laughs> cocktail time. Lunchtime cocktail time. With a view. day inside uh, this afternoon uh, the heavens have indeed opened and it's splish splashing all over the place uh, we were gonna have a massage but then Matt read that it's generally not a good idea if, to have a massage if you've got sunburn which we both have so that's great uh, and I really wanted to hike um, up here somewhere there's a um, viewing point hike um, that you can do there's like a bar at the top. I really wanted to do that for sunset, but 
now there will be no visible sunset and it's still raining so we're just having some chill time i'm reading my book carrie soto is back which is an absolute banger i cannot put it down so we're still having a fun time We have found the other part of the island. <laughs> that we haven't been to yet, the party side. Matt is getting on it. Get the shots in. Beefer. Um, yeah, quite a different vibe to our part of the island, I would say. I can see why people call it a party place now. It's pretty chill around us. The tide is out so far now. I really wanted to come down when the tide was out and it was light so that we could wade like so far into the distance because it's all so shallow but i ain't stupid enough to go out there in the dark with some fire shows coming on up coming on up here i don't know is it safe to walk behind them well we're gonna do it let's hope no one throws anything to try getting up to the viewpoint again but it just was not happening it was pouring with rain and it just had no look of giving up so I knew even if we did manage to get up there the view still wouldn't be any good really so we walked back to the resort um chilled out a little bit took a few videos of some cats along the way because there are so many cats on PP. They're really, really cute. Um, I loved spotting them out and about and seeing what they were up to. I had a look at the pool, which we never actually went in. <laughs> what a waste. Um, and just sort of hung around waiting for our boat uh, to take us to our next stop, which is Ao Nang in Krabi, which is back on the mainland. So we just had a little bit of time to kill which meant I could take some more clips of just general PP views, including the most touristy part of all, the Burger King and the McDonald's that are right as you step off the boat. But I promise the rest of it is not all like that. This time we got to take a speedboat to Ao Nang, so it was a bit more expensive. I think it was about 800 baht compared to 400 baht for the ferry. But it was at a much better time in the morning, so I felt like it was worth it to make the most of the time that we had in Thailand. And it just meant that we got there a lot quicker. I would say the, the ferry was a lot more relaxing though. I actually enjoyed that more than the speedboat. So I hope you enjoyed our time in the PP Islands. Please do subscribe and come back and see what we get up to in our final stop in Krabi before we head back to Bangkok. Again, there is still so much to come. Here's a little taste. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.